I've got a follow-up for you today on the video I shot before with using ChatGPT with Canvas because I just discovered another feature that I missed out before. And it's over on the lower right here. There's this little pencil icon that says suggest edits. Now my, my Grammarly thing is kind of blocking these, but when you play with it, you'll see that it, if you hover, there are some different options like uh, adjust reading level. So if I click on that, you, or adjust length, and you can make it longer or shorter just by adjusting that. And then there's reading level. So if you click on that, you can do uh, current reading level. You can go up to high school, college, graduate school, or all the way down to kindergarten. So I'm going to put it at college level. And then you would just click on it and it will rewrite what you have. I had done some sales page copy, which I showed you how to do in my previous video. So it's now gone in and adjusted it for a college student. So it'll use slightly different wording and adjectives in there. Uh, let's see, we've also got um, add a final polish. I don't know what that does, so let's click on it and see. And it will do some more rewriting, presumably, but I don't really see anything having been, having been done there. And finally, we've got add emojis, which is kind of fun if you're doing any kind of marketing content, social media, or you just need some ideas, sales page copy too. So let's see what it does. And I clicked, you have to actually click the arrow. That's why I didn't get the final polish. So I clicked on that. It's going through and it's adding a bunch of emojis, some of them in places that I wouldn't use, but you have the ideas. And then as you've seen, and if you watch my previous video, you can go in and just manually edit just by clicking and then going through and taking things off. So I wouldn't want to go crazy like this with emojis, but maybe just leave ones here and there and just manually do it. And then you can copy and do final polishing, but let's see what the final polish does. So you click on it to select it and then you click the arrow and it will go through. You can see that it made this a bolder heading. It did a subheading. And if you look over on the left, it will tell you what it did. So it says, I've polished the text by adding a clear title and section headings, ensuring grammar and consistency and making sure everything reads smoothly. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to adjust. At this point, you have enough. You would copy it, put it into your Google Doc and make any other final edits before you actually use the content. But remember, this is great for ideas and you wouldn't copy and paste things exactly. So play around with that a little bit and see if it helps you improve your content. Take care.